for those of you guys that read the title, no, it's not clickbait. It is a conversation. I felt like there was no better way than to hang out with my girl Ivy and start this vlog by talking to you. So this vlog is going to be a little bit different. There's not going to be any eggs collecting, no cutting of eggs. It's going to be me talking to you about the fact that, you know, I've been daily vlogging for four and a half years every single day. And uh, I love it. I love waking up in the morning. I love filming. I love interacting with you guys. I love your comments. I love every part about it. But I sometimes wonder, is it time for a change? Or when is it time for a change? You guys know I'm not going to daily vlog forever. When does the end come? And I don't know what the answer is. And that's why I'm coming to you guys. Just think what four and a half years ago was like when I started daily vlogging. There wasn't any reptarium. The, the whole game was different. YouTube used to actually reward daily content. Now to be totally honest with you, YouTube doesn't really reward daily content. Really, channels that are doing three or four videos a week are typically performing better. Some people even doing once a week is better. And what you have to understand by that is, is basically, if I post a video on Monday and you don't go on YouTube for whatever reason that Monday, but you go on Tuesday, obviously my latest video is Tuesday. You may not even remember I put a video out Monday and you just watch that video. So basically Tuesday's video steps on Monday's video, Wednesday's video steps on Tuesday's video, so on like that. And so you start to wonder like, is it the right idea to daily vlog? You know, again, I love it. I love telling you guys the story constantly. I never get sick of this life, I'll be honest with you. But again, at some point I'm gonna have to stop. And I do have to wonder, is that time coming soon? And first off, I wanna continue to tell you guys that I'm not making the decision today. I'm not giving you an announcement today. I wanna to start the conversation with you guys, to be totally honest with you. You know, to think about, you know, we have seen Perdita go from a little baby when we unboxed her to now this beautiful animal that I've had now for two and a half, three years, something like that. And to see her change so much it's amazing for me too you know I always tell people that the vlog is a little bit of a daily diary as well right I mean it's like I can look back on my life every single day and the things that really were significant at least on my business side is documented so I love uh, the whole process right I love being part of the daily vlog in my world if I could daily vlog forever I would uh, but the fact is is that you know all things do have to come to an end at some point point. and again I'm not saying today is the end but I do have to wonder what you guys think in the comments and again I don't want to hear what is best for me because what's best for me is to continue to daily vlog I want to hear you guys you know take for instance Perdita here again you know we probably have fed her 200 times on the vlog so you know there's times when you know only so many things happen even though we have a crazy complicated life you know we are repetitive as well right because when we're feeding we feed and the thing is is sometimes we do things a lot over and over take for instance we get snake eggs pretty much every single day right and this happens to be an absolute banger right here this is an ng pinstripe it's bred to a super incredible male which happens to be this pastel vanilla bamboo woma i mean can you imagine and that mixing that into the pinstripe gene and the enchi gene oh my goodness but even though every single clutch to me is different right i mean every single clutch we get is something exciting something different some new potential animal maybe that i haven't produced before you never know what's going to happen the truth is is that other youtube channels might get two or three clutches a year so when they get a clutch it's really exciting right but we get clutches every single day and i want to take you on that journey because again just like this girl right here which i'm going to go ahead and get off her eggs really quick which is oh my Gosh, what a beautiful clutch, too. Tell you what, it looks like we've got one little slugger in here, but other than that, looks like it's an amazing clutch. And we'll go ahead and get these over here again. There's one little slugger in here, but the rest look absolutely incredible. And just think of that combination, you know, all the potential genes in there. That to me is exciting. But I realize that some people, maybe pulling clutches of eggs every day gets boring. And, and I don't really know what to do about it. I want to take you guys on the journey. You know, certain times of year it's all reptarium, certain times of year BHB is really popping off. And I want to take you guys on the journey of that life we've got two four six eight ten beautiful eggs here but again if it gets boring to you guys and you stop watching because like oh, i don't care about another clutch of eggs you know that's a real dilemma for me because a lot of my days take up pooling eggs and doing things like this so i don't really know again down in the comments i need to hear from you guys and let me know what you think about this i mean is pooling eggs getting boring to you and you don't want to see it every single day maybe we do it two or three days a week i'm not so sure because again every single day we get eggs in 
posting every day, I'm super excited about it. I don't think you guys understand how much it means to me, your support on everything. Going over these last four years, you guys following me, supporting Reptile Army, you know, everything we've done, the Reptarium. I mean, listen, you guys were with me when I walked into this building when it was empty. It acted, it was a tobacco shop. And I walked in here and I talked about Reptarium 1.0. And you guys were here for that day. And then through the entire process of building the Reptarium down in Texas at Universal Rock, to installing it, opening day, that was an amazing thing. And I can look back on that just like you guys can. And that to me is an incredible thing. Not to mention, you know, 2.0. Remember when I got the keys to this, used to be a tattoo shop. And I walked in here and it was completely different. A bunch of rooms were in here, different flooring, the whole shop. And I talked about what I wanted to do you know the idea the vision and being able to share every single day of, with that with you and uh, ultimately going down to Universal Rocks remember when we built Ivy's enclosure remember that day or the days when we're putting doors on this cage here and all this stuff I mean those are amazing experiences for me and I love it and that's the only thing that's kind of making me think do I stay daily vlogging for another year or so because we're about to do a major expansion with 3.0 and then ultimately upstairs with 4.0 I would love to document that but the truth is is that I don't know if it's good you know honestly we put videos out a year ago and every single video would get a hundred thousand views plus sometimes 150 and every now and then a million plus views nowadays you know we're lucky to do 50 or 60 thousand views now I'm not complaining that's still a whole lot and I appreciate you people beyond belief so don't make it like I'm somehow like oh poor me but I do sometimes wonder like is that the signal saying Brian change it up right because again I always think you have to reinvent yourself often and I've been kind of doing a vlog now for four and a half years and one of the new iterations for myself and kind of reinventing myself was of course launching the podcast channel that we launched last Last year of course checking it if you guys haven't seen it we actually do three different podcasts a week and one is actually like the family one is actually Noah with choices in his life with comedy and then on Saturday nights I always do kind of a snake talky type thing where we're usually talking about reptiles and you know the through story at least on Wednesdays and Saturdays is always reptiles or or we talk about it because that's our life you know even when I'm with my family we're still talking about reptiles and I really love podcasting but I'd like to know from you guys again if you haven't watched the podcast channel why you know tell me why you just don't like like them you don't like podcasts if you have watched it and either continue to watch or don't watch you know tell me what you like and you don't like and that's what this is all about a conversation you know I know I typically do vlogs where it's just hey what's going on here at BHB or Reptarium or something like that but today I want it to be a conversation because it's something I need to get off my chest right and listen I appreciate each one of you guys' support and I am so blessed with all the support that you guys give me but I want this to be a great community for you you know I mean the podcast to me was kind of a reinvention of my myself you know has it blown up like I'd like it to I'm gonna be honest with you no it hasn't are we doing well yeah we are we're still very happy with what we have but I want to know how I can make a podcast and what you guys want to listen to that maybe you do want to listen to an hour or two hours a week or three times a week or whatever the case may be everything I want to do I want to do exemplary right and that's one of the reasons why we put as much money and effort into the podcasting room and all that type of stuff is because I really believe in it much like I believe in the vlog and all the other things that I do but again I I can only do things if it's good for you guys and if I'm not doing it right or if I'm not doing it as good as you want me to I need to know you know so I want an honest conversation with you guys about that you know like what is it that you like about what we do and what is it that you don't like about what we do maybe you're someone that used to watch and you're just watching to one day because you saw the title like oh Brian's gonna stop vlogging and you stop watching well tell me why you stop watching tell me what I can do to get you back and to keep you engaged because that's what it's about for me it's always just about educating people getting people excited not only about animals but life and business and family and all the other things like that so again podcasting was kind of an iteration of the future and it's one that I really had hoped would take off more than it did but I also am very dedicated to it I'm not going to stop because I really do like podcasting and I hope that you guys will maybe join the podcast family and start watching checking in because I think it's pretty amazing but uh you know nevertheless uh, again this conversation is an open conversation and I really truly need your advice down in the comments take a look at guys Ben and Jerry actually shed out now I will say that I have to actually start putting some ointment on them because they keep getting a little bit of a sore right in between when they shed out it's like when they rub they actually get a little bit of a sore but beautiful I mean look at how cool it is two actual heads and that's kind of the whole idea right is like I get to share all these cool things with you every single day 
And listen, again, like I mentioned, I appreciate you guys beyond belief. And I read your comments every day. And I know a lot of you wake up every day and start your day with us, you know? And hopefully our positivity and our upbeat and our kind of inspiration and stuff like that. And I take that very seriously. I take that responsibility more serious than you possibly can imagine. And part of the reason why I continue to daily vlog is because of you guys as well. I don't want to take that away. You know, I'm like, I love the fact that we're a family here and I think it's amazing. But going back to what I said, you know, when is it time to actually stop? You know, I can't do this the rest of my life. I don't know. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I don't want to stop, but I want to hear from you guys what that is. And, and, you know, listen, if we do stop daily vlogging, or I should say when, because it's going to happen at some point, you know, we're still going to post, you know, maybe four videos a week. We'll probably even still film seven days a week, and we'll just put the best of those four days in those videos. So it's not like we're going away or anything like that. And again, it's not like I'm stopping today. I just, this has been heart, heavy on my heart, and I wanted to ask you guys what your opinion is so that I have an idea of what to do in the future. But uh, like I said, today isn't that day, but I definitely, I need your advice, guys. I'm here for you guys all the time. Now, today, I'm asking you to be there for me. You know, I've been YouTubing for a long time. Like I mentioned, four and a half years daily on this channel. But I started in 2008 over on the Animal Bites or Snake Bites TV channel. So it's been a long time. And I've seen a lot of ups and downs over those times where the channel has been blowing up and where it's been really slow. And I gotta be honest with you, when things are going really well, it's easy. You wake up in the morning, you're full of energy. You can't wait to do it because you know it's gonna actually crush it. But when things start slowing down, it mentally gets to you a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's not like I'm doing this just for views and all that other stuff. But at the same time, when you work harder than ever and you're getting, say, 40% less views, it does mentally get to you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, what, I'm gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I wanna be honest with you guys. And it is a little bit hard. I think to myself, is that a sign that maybe it's time to actually change and do something different? I mean, if I did four days a week, would it be as good? as if I did seven days a week, maybe better? I don't know. And again, it's so conflicting because I don't want to. I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. I love the daily grind and I love you guys for supporting me through the entire daily grind. But at the same time, I have to start thinking about it. And in the end, like I mentioned, I want it to be a conversation between you guys and me so that we can decide together when the timing is right for it. Maybe through all of this, you know, daily vlogging will still work, especially if I start the expansion and you guys want to see every day all the changes that are happening. Maybe it isn't the right time to stop now. Maybe the right time to stop is a year from now. I'm not 100% sure. I just knew this was something that was heavy on my heart and I needed to come clean and really talk to you guys and have a heart to heart. Sorry that we didn't have a normal vlog today, but it still was something that's really important to me and I hope that you guys can appreciate that and, uh, and help me through this struggle, right? Because you've been there for a long time time with me and you've seen me struggle on some things and without you guys I don't know how I've made it as far as I have so uh, together we can help kind of decide what the future holds for me as well so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking and I realize today is kind of a heavy talk you know and listen I'm doing good as a matter of fact I want to eventually talk about the fact that I'm doing better mentally than I have in a long long time I've worked really hard on it so I'm doing good but at the same time this is something that I needed to get off my chest because the one thing I've learned through this kind of whole journey of getting mentally healthy is to not keep things inside. So I appreciate you guys letting me do this and don't take this as a downer at all. It's a good thing. No matter what happens, it's going to be absolutely incredible and we're still going to be a family. We're going to be the reptile army no matter what. But again, I needed to get this off my chest. I needed to find out from you guys what you guys actually thought about it. I appreciate you beyond belief and I really truly love each and every one of you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit over here a playlist. On this side, subscribe to the channel and listen guys, be kind to somebody. Enjoy your day and as for now, I do promise you, I will see you tomorrow.